Good evening, everyone. I'm Michael Higdon. Police are investigating a report of people shooting at each other from their vehicles this evening. And tonight, neighbors in the North Charleston community are shaken up. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh joining us from Quarterman Park right down the street from where police say it all started. Uh, Caitlin, what did uh, people have to say to you? Michael, it all happened right here on the corner of Rugheimer and Buist Avenues. People who saw everything took place tell me that it wasn't even enough time for them to register what happened. It all started to become more about getting to safety and protecting themselves and others around them. We were all sitting behind that oak tree right over there in the middle, just waiting for the cars to go by. One North Charleston neighbor says he was just trying to enjoy an evening stroll with his partner. A relaxing walk in a new place would soon turn into a harrowing experience. Just run. That's really about it. It was kind of it was a shock because it didn't sound like gunshots until we saw the cars and heard the cars flying. The North Charleston Police Department says they got a call around 630 for two cars shooting at each other near Rugheimer Avenue. Police say as they were shooting, a bicyclist was injured after being hit by one of the vehicles involved. They left with minor injuries. Two vehicles were also hit by the suspect's vehicles. Within the 30, 45 seconds of us hearing what we thought was gunshots at first. I thought it was fireworks. Then the car hit the other car right here, and then the two cars that were shooting at each other just took took off right up uh, right Buist. He adds in such an open area, there was nowhere to run or hide. Police presence spanned all the way from Park Circle down to North Rett. The neighbor says coming back to an area just a few hours later already felt nerve wracking, and it's changed his awareness. They could have easily saw us as pedestrians and witnesses and turn the guns on us, so it's pretty scary. The department says one person is currently in custody and they are looking for a few others who have fled the area. If you know anything about this case, the investigation is ongoing and you're encouraged to contact the NCPD tip line in North Charleston. Caitlin Ashbaugh, Life 5 News.